during the holidays, I do a lot of baking. And I thought I would just show you the basic ingredients that anybody who likes to bake should have on hand. Start, of course, with flour. All-purpose, unbleached flour is really great to have. I store all my flours in large mouth glass jars like this. These canisters are nice, they're easy to find. I have them up on a shelf. And it also, to have a big wide mouth like this, makes it very easy to dip and measure. This is a great way to store flour. Sugar, too, is kept in clear glass jars. Again, easy dipping the cup measure right into the jar. And if you are uh, watching your calories, it's great to have uh, this new product on hand, Truvia Baking Blend. And butter, lots and lots of butter for the baking at the holidays. I just buy a lot of unsalted butter and I put it in the freezer and I use it as needed. But having it in the freezer is a great way to keep unsalted butter. And why unsalted? Because I can add salt uh, to taste. Nuts kept in uh, airtight containers like this, pecans, walnuts, should all be stored at room temperature in a cool, dark place. Good chocolates, white chocolate, milk chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate. You should have all those different chocolates on hand. I have a drawer in my kitchen that's marked chocolate and we keep all the chocolate right there at room temperature where it stays well wrapped and ready to use. Spices, you know, people get spices and they say, oh, that will last me for years. Well, spices do lose their strength and you should check every now and then uh, that the spices are fresh enough. Uh, nutmegs can be kept in a, a little tin like this with a tight fitting cover and all kinds of spices. You need ground cinnamon, ground ginger, this is cinnamon sticks, uh, ground uh, cloves, very pungent and powerful, and cream of tartar for um, baking projects. Uh, these are all the kind of Christmassy spices, I call them, that you should have uh, fresh and plentiful in your pantry. Of course, fresh baking powders. Baking powder, too, has an expiration date. Don't think that you can just keep the same old baking powder year after year. You cannot. In fact, whenever I start a big baking project uh, that calls for a lot of baking powder, I open a fresh can. And so once you're stocked up, you can then enjoy the baking process. And you can make gorgeous coffee cakes like this cake, or cranberry tarts, or gingerbread men. Uh, the list goes on and on. And this holiday season is the time for plentiful baking. Enjoy.